professional chicken smuggler. I have a PhD in all things goofy. I work two jobs, I put in the time, I put in the effort. These people don't bark as much as me. You know, I am sometimes energetic. I just kind of go with the flow, you know, see what's going on. I am a pen maker. I'm not afraid to talk my heart out or say what I want to say. <laughs> People see me as someone who they can bring to the end. This is my time to change that. These 12 strangers have been marooned and left to fend for themselves. I don't give a f what happens. I'm going to be the sole survivor. I never really get along with anyone because I'm heavily unlikable. I'm more than willing to challenge myself and push myself to where I need to be. Being a sign language interpreter every day, I am seen as a hero. It's like a free ticket to heaven, basically. I do it for myself, not for those people who can't hear. They must learn to adapt or they'll be voted out. If you're not willing to adapt, then you're a fake boy. I'm you very hyper, which can lead to my downfall, so I'm kind of scared about that. In the end, only one will remain to claim the title of sole survivor. I am a little insane. These people are gonna drive me insane. I can definitely tell that. Welcome to Minecraft Survivor. Worlds apart. Like, I want to be underestimated. <laughs> I'm working until the job is done. If I had to spend time with anyone, it would be those who are easily manipulated. The walls are talking to me. I'm going crazy. I'm gonna go home early. I'm gonna take home the win. Two opposing traits, which will prove tougher and help lead them to Soul Survivor. If I rub somebody the wrong way, then oh, well, so be it. Like, wh like, what are they gonna do? Vote me out? Kiss my ass. <laughs>